Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, our prince of peace thereof, who comes forth on a whirlwind of the magnificence of his very own splendor. These are the days of our lives, the best days, if, if, if we know exactly what's happening by the Spirit. And the, the Lord is speaking again to this generation in a new way. And he has sent forth uh, a reset button uh, called COVID that none of us are too happy about. But uh, it is the trial of all flesh from Revelation 3 that's been sent to bring us a word of patience from him so that we can get our priorities back right. Uh, it, it, because he's promising to keep us through that word of patience from uh, the temptation not to change, to keep our world together in one piece. So the Lord knows what he's doing and he didn't send COVID to us, but he has allowed it. And he wants to lift the fog of the departing gross darkness so it can be seen out of discerning eyes. For his kingdom, his new covenant has been given to all flesh. The Lord's sweetest voice of love says, I forgive your iniquity and I shall remember it no more. And I shall write my law and my love on your heart. And now beyond that, no one shall need to have any more understanding about him and not need to be taught about him. For the least of the greatest shall all know him just as fish know the water. And they might not know the name for the water, but uh, the water brings him, them life. And our Lord is the living water. So no more shall any children of love need to run around in circles. They are love's reflection and never again will they need to feel indecisive and frustrated and worry about things boggling their mind. So get ready. For the Lord says, I will not withhold the former and the latter rains and the rain. And um, he's going to increase the intensity of his mercy while pouring out his, his love, unconditional love. And so shall it be that there shall be signs and wonders that shall be proving the word that I, Daniel, um, am giving to this world. I am the latter-day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13. Uh, that arises to embrace my destiny as the last Elijah of Matthew 17, 11. And the Lord, through his spirit, says, My latter-day messenger of love is correct in all of his interpretations of scriptures that no other man has understood. It's the gift of the prophecy interpretation that Daniel the prophet foretold for the end time so that the wise may shine as the stars. And the Lord says, for all divine mystery was finished within my sight. And as, as his spirit of love brings forth new life, new vision, and new hopes unto the nations, the Lord says, so shall it be that I will not let my beloved. Um, so he says that I will let my beloved also begin learning from my chosen house of beloved if they have any spiritual eyes to see with. And I'm talking about YouTube's House of Beloved with uh, Shiasa. Her, um, her uh, material, some of it is just pure poetry in motion. Now the Lord says, I shall revive, renew, and create hearts within the obedient as all things are restored, as it always should have been before man's pride got in the way. And the Lord says, So lift up your voices like trumpets, therefore, and boldly proclaim my name of love. And that is the name that John the Beloved named him in 1 John 4, 7. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. And born again is just love, light back on. Please be as little children, Jesus said many times. And... Uh, so in my name of uh, love, the Lord says that uh, his mercy shall ring out as an alarm unto everyone of love. So everyone may run from hate mongers who are preaching false exclusivity to heaven's, heaven's inheritance. And that all de he decrees, the Lord says, for everyone of love in the purest honesty within my holy name of fairness. 
Let the bright-minded and dull of thought open their eyes to behold the utter gospel truth that all those exalting my law of divine love have always found the word of my most fervent fire exploding within their mouths like some erupting flames of my glory that shall be going wild. So let my voice of victory resound, says the rider of the white horse, even as the refreshing voice of many living waters. Then multitudes of millions shall hear the glorious gospel of my most amazing love, says the roaring lion of Zion who roars louder than ever before. And he says, and they shall hear his most amazing love as it sets uh, loose a wildfire of my highest expectations as I move sovereignly as man's returning majesty of majesties, Emmanuel, who shall once more be God with us. And the Lord says, Arise and shine in order to be a vital witness of my blessed might and power. Then let the sickle of my spirit of love proceed out of your mouth along with the sickle, as love is exalted far beyond all that is by all who are and uh, all who will be, by my best planned charity of life, all laid out as a stacked poker hand that evil forces can't help opposing and losing to, <laughs> and they will lose to it because even Satan has been removed according to Daniel 12, 7, because the message of Malachi 3, 1 has been given to all mankind, and Satan can no longer be the accuser of the brethren. So Michael has stood up and hogtied him, and the, the war in heaven is over, says the Lord. So be blessed and know well, says our love of love, that my light of love is in all men, women, and children, for I am love, who is the brightest blinding light of lights, and who is the revelation of who are the uh, sons and daughters of God. It's every single one of us that have our love lights on. For if we let the love light go off, then we would commit blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, and we would perish because our next body is made of light. So the Lord says, be therefore ready to reflect my light of the ages in season and out so it can be seen of all tribes, all religions, and all forces of darkness that must retreat as this message of love's brightest light increases. So let the obedient now invade the darkness with this everlasting gospel of love's most incredible light of uh, benevolence and uh, the promise of love. And it promises this, for the Lord says, This is the day of the dawning of the Son of Love, who shall evermore be shining lovingly upon all men as he arises in the one world religion of John 10, 16, him becoming the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, over all people of all religions. Blessed then are all those enjoying glorious rays of cheer, for everyone welcoming God's sun's shine shall evermore be free of all satanic shadows of doubt, as they are now armed by piercing spears of light's brightest spiritual love that easily slays all lovers of hate who's daring to embrace ignorance. Nor does that washed-up fool of fools want, even though he's removed from the scene, nor does he want any children of fools to ever know that heaven's best-kept secrets have now been released from me, Daniel. I'm, I am the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, 1 through 6, King James. Even though, yea, I have been transgressed by wine, the just shall live by my faith, because it is the faith of love. And uh, Satan dreads this because the Spirit says Satan has always taught religious people, pious people, how to be religious in bad ways. So let it be understood that the devil long ago quit worrying about alcoholics, says the Spirit, but he made a grave mistake of ignoring all of them, including Daniel of Windsor, who I am. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me, folks.
But the Lord says, for that enemy didn't know that the prophecy of Habakkuk 2, King James, had to come to pass, as the prophesied man transgressed by wine gathers all people unto himself for his Lord of everlasting love. And I, the Lord of love, shall ca soon cause millions to be drawn to the very same light of love that Daniel will be pouring out unto all unbelievers. Love is a many splendid thing that grows from love to love as such benevolence proves to be the only real truth that wins out hands down over any faith always and forever since love alone is faith's supernatural saving grace. So love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Get ready, buckle up, let's get off the bus, change directions because it's a new day is dawning and love goes before us. So uh, people, just let your love be alive in Him. It's time for it to explode. It will, love shall save the day.